Hello. I thought I'd just get on here today and have a little bit of a reveal of um, what kind of color brands I use to do all my rainbow hair colors. Since I've been getting asked more and more on my Instagram page, pretty much on a daily basis now, uh, what brand do I use? So many people are interested and I've never really hidden it from you, but I haven't really promoted it a lot, like, um, you know, in my um, bio thingy. And the reason being, well, there's a couple of different reasons, but mainly it's just because I mix everything. So I'm not, I'm not like brand specific. I don't use one thing. So everything I mix is my own creation. Like nothing that I do comes out of one tube, like nothing. I can't help myself. It's like, I just have to corrupt things. Maybe it's just the anarchy in me, but I just, it doesn't feel right unless I corrupt it. So nothing that I use is ever really like truly the brand anyway. So that is why I never really tag any products in my posts. So let's move on and show you the reveal and then I'm going to talk a little bit more about how I mix things as well. So I'll bring you over here to my cupboard for the reveal. So these are my babies. And this is not all I use. Like occasionally there are other brands as well, but this is mostly what I use. So we have a little bit of a door, which is uh, quite a nice, it's, it's kind of like a gel base. I don't know if you can see this. So yeah, it's interesting. It's a gel, but it's, it's more liquidy. It's quite an interesting texture if you've ever used a door. I have got Provana, which I love mainly in the Provana. I love the blue. I love the violet, that is amazing. And I also really love the orange. There's a lot of different tones I like in Pravana, but like those are my go-to. I've got some Manic Panic Pro up here, which is a gel base, really, really long lasting, good stuff if you want someone that wants a more permanent color. I've got some of this Aquamarine, which is one of my favorite kind of blues that I love to use. Then I have my Joyco Intensities which are my two favorite pink tones is hot pink and the magenta. I love those. I also really like the red in Joyco. I like the yellow as well. It is a more orangey yellow, but I always dilute it. And I also like the Kelly green. Now I do have also some little bottles of Manic Panic, which you can see that says sunshine. And that is quite obviously not sunshine. I haven't had these for a while. I've actually run out, but uh, the reason I love these Manic Panic jars is I reuse them. So if I've mixed up a bit too much color, rather than dropping it down the drain and wasting product, I actually will put it back in here and recycle it and then use it for next time. So that's really handy. I don't know if any of you do that, but that's the beauty of these direct dyes is because they don't oxidize, they don't you know technically process, so you can save them and use them for later. And then, most importantly, I have got a big ass bottle of conditioner. And this is nothing fancy either. This is just a cheaper kind of conditioner that I get from my hair and beauty suppliers in bulk. And I use this as my wipe. That was my dog just scratching. Sorry, Billy, it's inconvenient. Uh, there he goes. Are you done? Okay get back to my video so yeah I mix this in everything every single color that I make is my own kind of creation like I'll always start off with a white in my bowl I'll put a bit of white and then I'll just kind of slowly add the direct dye to the white mix it up and then when I see the color that I like then I use it I don't use scales to measure anything I'm very very visual and I think People are just very quick to judge the brand. Obviously I get asked a lot of the time, you know, what brand do I think is the best? That is a question that I get asked like all the time. And honestly, I have not found one brand in particular to like to this day that I've liked every single color in that brand. I like pink in this brand. 
I might like a blue in this brand. After a while, when you get experienced using direct dyes, you find like your favorite tones in each different brand. So that is very much how I am. And I'm very, like my mind is always open to trying new things. I'm certainly, I won't judge it until I've actually personally tried it and use it. And then I'll make a judgment on that. And it's just really good to have that first hand knowledge when you're working with direct dyes once you figure out what works really well for you then you can you certainly does increase your confidence in like knowing what you're using and knowing how it works and being able to achieve those results i i hate it when people blame brands like yes there have been some tones in some particular brands that i haven't liked as much but most of the time if something doesn't work it's kind of not the brand's fault, <laughs> I hate to say that, but like in most situations, it's either um, a lack in education and knowledge. It's something to do with the, you know, think of your color wheel when you're working with things, the hair hasn't been prepped correctly or the hair just hasn't been looked after properly by the client. There are so many factors that come into it. So I think it is quite unfair when people just kind of completely ditch on a brand and say, oh no, that brand is crap because yeah, nine times out of 10, it's actually not the brand. It's either just a lack in education, a lack in knowledge on the hairdresser's part, or it is the client has just not looked after the hair dye because direct dyes are all very similar in the way that they work and very, very similar kind of conditioner based formulations that I have found like from my own experience. So that's why I don't find like a huge, big I just can't do this today, Billy. Really. You see, I'm in my slippers. Good times. As I was saying, I don't find a like that big of a difference in brands. It's like this much of a difference in brands. When when you were talking about like how long they last and how well they work and everything like that, I just so little of that is is the brand and so much of that is like comes down to you as a professional and how much knowledge you have and experience you have like how well you work with colors i genuinely believe that it wouldn't matter what brand i work with i'm confident that i can still get a good result because i know how they work and i understand the basics so yeah i hope that just explains it uh, to you a little bit about why i don't really tag many brands in my posts because like I said everything I make is customly like mixed by me I intermix different brands at the same time I'm just a real wild card when it comes to colors I, I really just do what I love and I just I love breaking rules <laughs> um, and I hope that that just gives you a little bit of confidence as well to just try things you know just step out of the box and you don't have to keep it all the same brand you know you can use a whole big range of brands just it's really fun to just kind of try, just try stuff. And I'm, I must just add also, I'm not a sponsored hairdresser by anyone. Um, I don't have like a color brand that is a sponsor for me. I am just a complete wild card. I just, I like it that way. I'm still open to that in future. You know, if that ever happened, it would have to be a pretty good offer, but I just love the freedom. I really love being free and just being me and just doing exactly what I want and yeah, no, no rules. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and that's just explained a little bit about how I work and how I mix my colors and why I'm not so big on like tagging brands in my posts. Yeah, that's it. I think I'm gonna leave it at that and happy colorful hair. Oh, one more thing I might just add is I do actually have a YouTube channel where I am sharing a lot more like detailed transformations. It's called Transformation Education. I've been filming my work as I go just so that I can share a bit more detail with you. Um, and it would be really cool if you could subscribe and like my videos. Thank you. Goodbye for now.